it is me and my Akio T. And as you can probably see by the title of this video, it is going to be a magical unboxing day. Yes, not only do I have one wizarding trunk box, I have two fragile magical delivery and I am so excited to get into these because I am very new to the wizarding trunk game. I've only gotten the um, keep collecting box and so I am super excited for this box because in here are between 10 to 15 um, items from previous boxes. This is a mystery box. I saw it um, advertised on their website and I just had to get one and then um, Wizarding Trunk actually sent me another, so I am super excited because now I have two boxes to do and, you know, twice as many chances for me to get some items that I've been really hoping for, especially after watching everybody else's wonderful Wizarding Trunk unboxings, especially Peter Kenneth, the Potter Collector. I love watching his unboxings because he just makes it all so magical. So. Without any more further ado, let us get into box number one, shall we? With our trusty pocket knife. So if you are unfamiliar with the Wizarding Trunk, they have two um, different kinds of boxes. They have a bi-monthly box, so every other month kind of box, and then they have a quarterly high security vault box, and those are more, um, you get more items and the box is a bit more ex expensive. And I'm hoping that some of those items will be in here, so I'll let you be the first one to see the magical items inside. Ooh, it's pretty heavy and pretty chocked full. And the first thing I see on top is one of their t-shirts. I'm excited to see what it is. <gasps> Ooh, cool. I think this might have been, I think they did an All Hallows, oh, cool, an All Hallows Eve um, box. I think maybe this was maybe in it because it is the Salem Sisters concert t-shirt. And when I was um, checking out the box, I put what size my t-shirts was because not every box, but some boxes would be getting a t-shirt and I'm excited that I got one. And it even has like tour dates on the back and it's really nice and soft and good quality. Oh, this is so cool. Yes, the All Hallows Eve Tour 1992, Glasgow, Newcastle, Southampton, Sheffield, Manchester, Birmingham, Lancashire, Bristol, the Great Hall, <laughs> and then lots of London. So that is so cool. I cannot wait to wear this because it's kind of like um, a magical nod, but it's not like overly like fandom-y. So it's kind of cool. Okay, next item we have in a white box. Ooh, it says Lumos. Ooh, okay. So on one clicker, it is a laser pointer, which my kittens will absolutely love. And then the other is a light. So this will be fun for um, reading. Cannot wait to use that because books are truly magical. Ooh, I see a pin. Ooh, ah, this is so cool. I have a little love potion pin right here. It is really nice and big, and it has a double clasp, and it says the Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Cool, world's strongest love potion. Very useful, I might need that sometime. Next, let's go into this big box. Oh my gosh. Ooh, I see something on the side. Oh my gosh, no way. Okay, I need to set that aside. Awesome packaging. Whoa. An item that was thoroughly misrepresented in the books. We have the very spooky hand of glory from Borgen and Burks and then used later on in the Harry Potter books but sadly not the movies I am very tempted to put like my hang my rings and jewelry on here just for the heck of it because okay that would be funny for it to have jewelry on it but 
The quality is so good and the detail is awesome. I mean, it's a spooky prop, but that is so cool. Okay, maybe I'll just set it right there. No, that would be too spooky for the rest of the video. Next, ooh. Do we have a tapestry for the Noble House Black? Ooh, do we? Yes? Oh, cool! Okay, well this is definitely gonna be used as a backdrop sometime. How does it look? Does it look awesome? That is so cool, and I love the feel of the material. It's kind of um, a really nice soft fabric. That is so cool. Next, we have something that it looks like it's from the Quidditch World Cup. And it is for, for Ireland. <laughs> I think I'll, I'm going to have to watch some more um, of the videos to see what this is supposed to be meant to be used for because it has like a little opening right here so I don't know if it's just for a display or it's supposed to be put on top of something so I'm gonna have to watch more Wizarding Trunk unboxings and see which box this one is out of or if you have received the Wizarding Trunk before let me know what box this is from and what this is used for or if it's just like a little fun prop so please leave a comment down below for that okay next Oh, cool, another pin! So, this pin benefits Australian relief efforts, so that is really cool. And it is a little kangaroo Patronus, and it's sparkly and adorable. I shall put that with the rest of my Patronus pins. I have several. Oh, wait, there we go. I think it was supposed to be this way. There we go. Cool. Next. Ooh, we have a key. And it has a cauldron and flames and potions on it. Again, if you know where which box some of these items are from, I would greatly appreciate to be told down below in the comments. Because I'm thinking this is, it has PS on it. So it either means Potions Storeroom, Professor Slughorn, or Professor Snape. There's a lot of PS's that this could be connected to. So let me know which, which one this is for, but it is a really neat key. Love the design. Absolutely fantastic. Next, ooh, we have something wrapped in bubble wrap and it's kind of rattling around a little bit. <gasps> ooh. Okay, so it looks like we have a potion ingredient. We have these little red stones and it says blood purifying crystals from pure blood apothecary. Very, very well done. That one I am going to set right there because that just adds a really nice pop of color. Next, we have another key! Okay, so this key... <gasps> Ooh, this key is for for the beau baton because it has the carriage with the flying horses. <gasps> it is really nice and heavy. Absolutely beautiful. As you know, if you've watched my videos, I am a sucker for a key, especially when they are really well done and you can obviously tell what they go to and especially the clever ways of making the, um, the key part, like the part where you put in the lock look. So this almost looks like a little snowflake. So that is really cool. Next, we have something in a brown box and it's fairly heavy. Ooh. Okay, so I think this is either a lotion or a soap dispenser. If I can get it open. The bubbly wrap is fighting against me. Ah, there we go. All right, so what do we have here? We have Pure Blood Apothecary All-Purpose Magical Mess Remover Hand Soap. So that is really cool. I don't know if maybe when it originally was in the box, if it came with... Um, a soap to put in it or if this is just you put in your own hand soap but that is cool to add a magical touch to the bathroom and you know people are always making magical messes so very handy soap dispenser next ooh, I think this is for a laptop oh cool 
So this will be very handy because I actually do not have a laptop case. I have been needing to get one. And this one is the Monster Book of Monster with its little beady eyes and its little mouth. Is there anything on the inside? Nope, it's just the standard black. But this will be really nice. I don't have to worry about my laptop when I'm carrying it around. And it will be peace of mind when I am using it. Cool. Next, ooh, we have some papery items down here. We have a notepad for um, the Umbledore's army. So that is really cool. At the top it says, join here. So that will be handy to jot down notes on. And then we have, ooh, a beautiful print of the Whomping Willow, which I am going to hang up immediately because I am ready for some kind of springtime artwork. And this is just such a subtle nod. I absolutely love that. Then I have two tickets to the Quidditch World Cup. So if anyone wants to go to the World Cup with me, um, we are in row Z, seat 9, section 312. So if you want to go to the Quidditch World Cup down below with me, hey, leave a comment down below. Who knows? Maybe we will have a magical time together. And then the next paper item is the Nightly Nocturne. And this is incredible. It's like a full-on newspaper. And we have like potions for sale on the back. What do we have in here? We actually have articles. Okay, this is so cool. We have sports. We have betting over here. Okay, this is so neat. And then we have, like, ads over here. I cannot wait to get into this. It even has a crossword puzzle. Oh, this is gonna be cool. I cannot wait for that. And it has the Salem Sisters. Oh, apparently the band split up. Well, it's a good thing I have their t-shirt. Okay, let us get into the box number two with our trusty pocket knife. Da -da -da. Here we go. Ah! Okay, so I think I see a couple of repeats. I see another Salem Sister t-shirt, so I won't open that up. And looks like another Hand of Glory. And the same um, pins right here. And key. <gasps> okay, cool. So this is from the first Keep Collecting box. It is a pair of dragon hide gloves. So, you know, only ethically sourced dragons were used. And it even has a little tag right here. This is so cool. I remember seeing these for the first box and being like, oh man, I wish I had a pair of those. They're actually pretty big. Actually, they kind of fit me not too bad. They're only like just a little bit too big, but that is really cool. Um, something that Hagrid would definitely be proud of because I believe when talking about the dragon hide gloves, that's when Hagrid first um, tells Harry that he's always wanted a dragon in the first book. I think I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So that is really cool. Okay, next. Ooh, we have a key. Ooh, we have a key with a fob on it. Ooh. So this is the key to the room of requirement, if it will focus. It's so cool. And it has like the little like automaton that they fight in the room. And we have a little door right there. That is so cool. And the detail is awesome. And it's like really, really, really heavy, heavy metal. Alrighty. Next, I think this might be another soap dispenser. So let's take a peek there. Yes, it is. So I won't open that. Um, since I have so many duplicates, I think I'm currently doing a giveaway right now. I think this will be in a separate giveaway with all the duplicate items. So make sure to be subscribed to my channel for when that um, giveaway goes live. So let's see what this one is. Is this another one of the lights? Yes. So we have another Lumos light there. 
So, so far, you, it's going to be a really good box. And another laptop case. So, all in all, it's looking like it's going to be a good box. I'm just saying. Subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Oh. Another ticket to the World Cup. So, now two people can go to the World Cup with me. Let's see. Next. Ooh. We have an envelope. I'm going to cry. This is the item. When I saw the keep collecting box, this is the, the items that I most wanted because they were so perfectly me. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay. So first off it is, it is a school schedule that has beautiful gold foiling. It looks like a watermark on the back and each part of the schedule has like little notes on it and it's personalized. That is so cool. And then of course I can put my name up at the top. So it's like for free period, I have study group, herbology, bring my dragon hide gloves, uh, quidditch practice, potions, divination, um, free time for study group, astronomy, flying lessons, and then um, lunch times, which are very important, and dinner. Next is a hall pass. And it's really cool because even the back is printed like you can kind of see where the ink bled through. So it's printed to look really old and magical with that beautiful gold foiling on it. And for reasons for hall pass, uh, restroom break, um, gathering missing supplies or others spe specify below. Signature professor. That is so cool. And then this item. I wanted this so badly when I saw the first Keep Collecting box. And this is a student library card. Look how gorgeous it is. And it has access to the restricted section. Oh my gosh. That is going right there. Because I am a true child of the library. Next, we have another notepad, and it is for, like, potions and stuff, so that is really, really cool. Mr. Rory has just come in to say hello. Hello, little man. We have a star chart for astronomy. That is really cool. Ooh, so we have a Ministry of Magic um, folder right here. And it has like case notes in it for different reports. That is really neat. Next we have a transfiguration um, lesson print, which is really, really cool. And then we have another um, heavy box in here. And if you are enjoying these videos and want to um, help my channel out by supporting um, my channel, I do have um, super thanks down below. And if you want to just send a little thank you and I'm enjoying your channel to help my channel because some of these boxes are pretty expensive. It does help me out greatly. You don't have to, but it would be very helpful. Oh, and we have the draft of disillusionment. I have a potion and it's actually liquid. It is so magical. Look at those swirls. Oh, this is the best box ever. I've gotten items that I've always wanted from the wizarding trunk and it just makes me even more excited because my herbology box will be coming later this week so stay tuned for that. And yeah, thank you wizarding trunk for making such wonderful boxes and thank you for putting together these mystery boxes so people that have missed out on stuff can have them and for all of you make sure you are subscribed because I can't wait to do that giveaway of the duplicate items. So that being said, thank you so much for watching everybody. If you're interested in checking out another video, go ahead and click right here. And if you're new, welcome to my channel and go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave a like and a comment down below. So and make sure you never miss any of my videos ever again and stay tuned later this week for my herbology unboxing. Thanks so much for watching everybody and I will see you all later. Mischief Manage.